While studying in Richmond in 2000, the pair and two friends saw need right outside their front door. You know, Monroe Park is kind of where everything started for charitable souls. Mike and Amy were troubled watching men and women sleeping outside in the bitter cold. When we walked through Monroe Park and saw, you know, folks, you know, sometimes not even having a blanket, but we figured, you know, maybe give them a little extra more per cover with a sleeping bag, and that's really how it started. They founded Charitable Souls to buy and distribute sleeping bags. 20 years later, the response has been overwhelming. Since that time, we've distributed well over 2,200 sleeping bags to the homeless. They've specifically told us that there have been at least a few people they know of that did not freeze to death because of our sleeping bags. So I will tell you right now, sorry, I get a little choked up about that, but but it's important. The volunteers with the nonprofit have expanded their mission to include the written word. Every year, members collect hundreds of children's books, each one distributed to schools and other nonprofits. At St. Joseph's Villa, they've told us specifically that the reading level has improved there because of us. And to me, if you're going to help somebody get out of poverty, you help them by helping them learn to read. Charitable Souls also comforts the elderly each holiday season. To take a little bit of my time to try to help somebody else who's having a hard time, I mean, that's just part of what we're supposed to do. Volunteers create gift bags filled with simple items requested by seniors isolated in nursing homes. Some of them just need things like socks or they need things like lotion. The pandemic will prevent the Charitable Souls team from visiting with seniors this Christmas season. We always try to get what they want because, you know, this could potentially be their only Christmas gift. Volunteers say so, they're even more driven this year to provide holiday cheer. I think it means a lot because it means it tells them that somebody's thinking about them. And honestly, regardless of what the gift is, to me, I think that's more important. Mike Menefee and Amy Rybar Menefee. I mean, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Two VCU graduates who have earned PhDs in compassion. We're not going to solve all the problems, but you know, if we can improve folks' lives just a little bit, that's that's what we're trying to do, just a little bit. Mike and Amy are always accepting donations of sleeping bags, books, or gifts. If you'd like to help out or volunteer your time with Charitable Souls, I'll put the information on our show website at WTVR.com.